Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Got kind of a nice day going on for the middle of January. For the area I live in, typically the last two weeks of January and the first two weeks of February, um, that's when you get the worst of winter. Um, and if you want to, you can add the first two weeks of January also, and then the last two weeks of February. Um, and that's basically all winter. Typically, December is in a bad month, and March, things are turning around. Um, what I wanted to do was finish this thing up today. Uh, just to remind you guys, um, I got this from a buddy of mine. It is the $75... Honda TRX 250. It's a 1986. Um, just one, one, just another couple of quick reminders, then we'll go on to what today's story really is. If you guys remember, I got this thing. It was missing the back tires and hubs, and it came with most of the plastic. Right, you can see that's the front, that's the back. The back's missing the trunk, but it's not in horrible, horrible condition. A little sun bleached, a few cracks. Um, I am missing the piece that goes up around um, the steering column. I do have the seat pan. The foam is pretty trashy. And um, obviously the seat cover is about shot, but the plastic pan looks pretty good. So that's where it was now um, what, what I'm gonna try to do with this with this video is for those of you who don't have one of these you know like Calvin has one of these so he could go look at it but if you don't have one of these or if you're looking at a quad and trying to figure out what do I have here should I buy it it doesn't run but maybe I can get it running and so forth what should I look at you know maybe I'll buy it and get another one for parts you know something along those lines um, when I when I looked at this thing and I'm calling it an autopsy the obvious was it was missing the back tires and wheels right it had been sitting outside for a while and it had not run in quite a while. Those things were completely obvious. But I also noticed fairly quickly, I lifted the seat up. I saw the carb was there. I saw the gas tank was there. I saw the front wheels were there. I mean, Roger's pine cone is waiting. You know, I saw that it was in halfway decent shape. The exhaust was complete. So I saw there was quite a bit there. So right from the beginning, I noticed the wire harness was there, both CDIs. Just giving you guys a few things to start looking at because if you have any hopes of bringing this thing back to life which you don't have you got to go buy right so I, I noticed that right off but I knew and could see fairly quickly that not only oh, was the rear end in trouble um, but you know I probably have a bad u-joint here right so so from here back is duty um that i noticed right off i also though the seat was sitting on it i noticed it didn't have the cover on this those were noticed uh i got this rig home and um that's when i noticed two additional things a the red death and B, that this was opened. And when I saw that, I said, hmm. I know I had rear end problems. I was hoping for 75 bucks that I would do a quick engine resurrection on this thing. As in, you know, get the engine started, you know, clean the carb, maybe smash my portable CDI for ignition, and I would have an engine, then I'd just throw a rear end on it, and I... I more or less stole a quad for 75 bucks right by the way i got the i got the vin right here and the receipt so that's the only quad um i went to try to start it and it didn't sound so good so then i did a leak back on it and when i did the leak back and you do this type of stuff 
I heard air coming out the uh, the intake valve. I loosened up the adjusters to make sure that the valves were closed. I still had air coming out the intake valve. So, for me to do anything else on this thing, the real work begins, right? Um, my battery's about to die so quickly. I have all the parts for the obvious issues. I saw that right up front. And for parts, that's all the stuff that's there. And in my head, I said, boy, this thing's worth $150 to $200. $75, it's a steal. Got to buy it. And uh, here's what I didn't know. I didn't know that was opened. The exhaust valve was open. I didn't know there was red depth on the top end. And I didn't know and I discovered when I was just looking in that the top end of the motor was open. And lastly, I didn't know until I did my leak up tester, you know, Harbor Freight piece of crap, that I had a bad intake valve. So I did okay with this. But if you're buying one of these and now you got to buy all the parts to put this back together again, you're in trouble. The rear end's a couple of hundred bucks. The engine's 300 bucks. You got 500 bucks plus another hundred bucks plus the seat cover and everything else. You're going to end up putting a thousand bucks into a carb that's worth about, into a quad that's worth about 600. Uh, you're not going to make any money there. But if you really love it, go for it. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. I wish some of my compatriots, perhaps like Musty One, he would uh, like walk up to a Volkswagen and say, Hey, this is what I look la at for a Beetle, and this is what I look at for a bus. He's got different kinds of buses, so you might have to look at a couple of other different things. Even for folks like with golf carts or whatever else you're into, mini bikes um, log splitters <laughs> uh, it, it would be interesting if everybody kind of went through who deals in this kind of stuff and took a quick look and said hey this is what I look for first and when I see this I just walk away it's junk right anyway folks once again thanks for watching commenting and subscribing feet down heads up and get out there and enjoy all your days bye now folks